Okay, so the latest and greatest I've been working on with Twisted Builds. I'm purposely speaking quietly because it's about 1 a.m. in the morning and all my family's asleep right now. So, getting on with it. Twisted Builds 10 and a half inch dash display. That's obviously not a Holly. It is connected to a Holly though. That's connected to a Bench Terminator X Max. And my Twisted Builds engine sim that I've shown you on the channel. Uh, this is getting powered over USB, I mean, over USB power adapter. The other two communication wires, if you can see them right here, are going in here. I don't know if you can see that. So only look, I want to be, you know, fair with you. Power ground, power ground, power ground. That's the only thing USB is doing. Blue and yellow are changing colors of black and white there. They're going to uh, TX3 and RX3 on a Mega Square 3, so Serial 3, right? That is a, me or sorry, not Mega Square, uh, Arduino Mega, okay? The Arduino Mega is connected to an MCP2515 chip. That chip has CAN bus on it with that gray and orange wire, which is passing back out through this cable, which this is just a makeshift to make to show it's working. Back to my engine sim, the engine sim connector is connected to the Terminator Xbox. This is also broke out on the terminal pins right here, and I have it connected to the Holly USB cable. And I want to show you, the only software up currently is the Holly Terminator X software, okay? Let's kick this sucker on. So we are going to power up the engine computer, power up the sim. And then we're going to turn the ignition on to the computer. You saw the lights flash, and now we've got data. So, uh, that well, pressure looks a little low. Let me simulate that up a little bit. What's the running pressure on an LS1? Like 60-ish with good camera range. So, uh, battery voltage is dipping a little bit. It's not a really big deal. It's just on my bench sim currently. Um... The RPM, it's not running, obviously, but let's uh, start up. So I'm going to kick this thing on. You can see my ignition and fuel injector sim LEDs coming on. So that's powering coils and ignitions, or ignition coils and injectors. And we got RPM data. So that's what, 2387, 2388? Let's check it with the Holly software and make sure that's right. So we're going to USB link. And click OK. We're going to get you. All right. Oh, what? 2388. Oh, my. So, let's see. Oil pressure is 62 pounds. Oil pressure, roughly 62 pounds, I imagine. So, water temp's like, what, 170-ish? Where's water temp? I'm actually going to have to look for it because I didn't look for it pre. Uh, CLT, 173. Look at that. Fuel pressure's 30. I don't have fuel pressure brought up on this. I do have a knob on here working with it, though. Uh, TPS. Let's, let's do that. I'll grab my TPS knob. They're all positioned. Let's get it around 50. This doesn't have an exact readout. So I'm going to get it close. It's probably, what, high 40s? Where's TPS in here? Oh, 48. Imagine. Just to prove... That it all works. So, you're able to make your own dash with the data I'm going to release. I'm going to release a public uh, DBC of the data I reverse engineered off that Terminator X. So that way you could use the Canvas data for your own projects. Um, I obviously, if it, I'll release that data. I may, I'm thinking about bringing these screens to market. I'm going to make them work with the Mega Squirt and the Holly Terminator and others as well. But, that's what I got going on right now. Thanks for watching. Bye.